Hello, happy Friday. It's Friday. It's throwing me off a little bit because Brian's working today. All right, it is 10 a.m. I just did me a little workout. I started using, Shelly that I work out with was telling me about an app called Fit Bod, I think is what it's called. Um, anyway, but you get like a few free workouts with it. You can put in like your age, height, weight, goals, like that sort of thing. And then it will give you workouts. And it was really nice. I used the three free workouts this week and I really did like it. So I may end up grabbing it or buying it. I think it's $12.99 a month, which is a little bit pricey in my opinion. However, I do feel like I wouldn't really know everything that I needed to do without the app. I would just be doing nonsense things. I don't want to work out without a purpose. You know what I mean? I don't want to just hang out and do things that don't matter. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I may get that app. Workout was good. They've got the hydro massage thingy that is so nice. So I did that again today. So today on the agenda, I do need to work. However, they should be coming to pour the concrete in the back. I talked about it in my last vlog, but the weather is not too pretty. So obviously if it's raining, that's not something that they can do. It's not raining yet, but it is pretty dark and cloudy. So I don't know if they're actually going to end up coming today. I hope so, but if not, Maybe they'll get to us next week. So we're gonna work a little bit today. I hope I have a concrete update for you, but I just wanted to say hello, good morning, happy Friday, and let's fingers crossed get home and see a big concrete truck out in front of the house. They don't park in the driveway. Apparently the truck's too heavy and it can crack your driveway. So they park in the street. So hopefully the truck is there. Okay, I'll see you at home. They're here, but we can't go out there. I just wanna see if I can see anything no the big tractor thingy was just back there but we can't see it but they're here so that means we need you and i now need to go out the front so that we don't disturb them oh my goodness you gonna go outside come on come on goody okay come here okay i think they're taking all of the pavers out look this is their truck these are pavers so that's good news we're gonna take miss cash on a little walk i don't see the concrete truck so maybe they're just prepping it also my legs still hurt i feel like i'm walking like a baby giraffe oh dang there's somebody else walking a dog i don't trust other people's dogs a lot of people in our neighborhood not a lot but a few don't um, keep their dogs on leashes. I'm not trying to do that. So we're just gonna do a quick little loop de loo and then turn around and go home. Okay, we're back from our walk. They're loading it up. I can't see anything else, but there we go. Okay, they just left. Here's what we look like so far. Nothing much to show you. <laughs> um, so I don't know, do they dig all this dirt out? I don't really know how it works, but anyway, here's what we look like right now. Cash wants to see what's going on. Uh-oh, what is it? They just took the pavers out. No biggie. No biggie. You done? It's kind of hot out here. The whole concrete truck just showed up and they park, like my filming room is at the front of the house. So they're parked out front. What is it? Oh, is it a concrete truck? It is not. Okay, so it is not. It looks like somebody else just came and picked up that tractor thingy that they had left here. It's about three hours later from that last clip when I was getting ready. They're back. Concrete truck. Hold on, let's see if I can. There we go. Concrete truck is, oh, it's not gonna focus. There we go, you can't see anything. But it's happening. All right, it is now 5.30. Are we ready to see the finished product? Here we go. They sat here for a while. I'm not really sure how the process works, but it looks wet still to me. But here we go. Brian would not leave me alone about pictures and updates and stuff. So I just sent him a bunch of uh, pictures and videos. So here we go. 
all this will eventually come off like it did in the back so yeah there we go happy monday y'all it is about almost 10 a.m let's just say i just finished working out i need to figure out how i can do glute focused leg workouts like all these workouts that you can do that are supposed to help your butt but i don't ever feel them in my butt i just feel them in my quads like top part of my legs I need to do some practice today. Um, anyway, good morning. I did end up downloading and paying for that app I talked about in last week's vlog. I think it's called Fit Bod. They give you three free workouts and I liked them. And then it's like 12 bucks a month. So I figured I could try it for a month and just see. So that's what I followed today. And then I did some additional things because like I said, I don't know if I was doing everything correctly. <laughs> Um, so I am about to meet my mom at Lowe's. We are renovating the backyard. We know this. I will show you an update on the concrete slab they poured. It's a gloomy and cold day today, but we're going to shop today and then work tomorrow. I'm so hungry right now, but I know that we're going to go get like lunch. I wonder if I can get me something small to eat right now because I am so hungry <sighs> all right let's go, let's go to Lowe's that's what I'm really here to tell you is hey good morning I'm going to Lowe's we're buying miracle Grow plants weed eater mm, weed killer like all kind of stuff so I'll see you at Lowe's I parked by the garden center I got a front parking spot it's freezing outside though, so I'm gonna put this jacket on and then I'm gonna get us a buggy, probably that one right there and wait for my mom. This is what I'm looking for, something that is full sun because they're all gonna go out back by the pool, but I think I want all green versus last time we did like colorful flowers and stuff. I got my little cart. I want them to look somewhat tropical. Ooh. Let's go over to that side. First on the list is miracle Grow. I was gonna grab these. It's 20 bucks for 50 quart, 25 quart for 14, let's say. But she's down there with yellow. Is that cheaper? Let's get my little cart. The other one though said it'll still live if you over water or underwater it though. <laughs> this one don't claim that. Two for 15. All right, I'm gonna put my drink here. 25 quart. Yep, this is 25 it. quart. Okay. Four. Here's our haul. A couple yellows. The succulent, I think, is pretty. We could always get another one of those as well. A succulent, because we have six. Maybe we should. I did check all of them as well to make sure they weren't toxic to dogs. Let's do another succulent while we're here. Right? You said two. Let's do two. Okay. I'm going to leave the buggy here okay. and we'll pick out one. All right. We're all loaded up. Hopefully you don't fall there. I, we did get another succulent and then my mom picked out a beautiful like potted. I wish I would have taken a picture of it. I'm not good with plant names, so I couldn't even tell you what it's called, but it's beautiful. So she took that home. I managed to get everything in the back of my car. So I dropped cash off at the groomers this morning. I don't think I told you all that which is good because I can just unload everything in the backyard, like leave the gate open. Yes, I could have done that and left her inside, but I'm gonna go unload everything. Whew. It really didn't cost me that much money. I know Lowe's plants are expensive. We talked about going to like a little local place, but they don't open till Wednesday and their plants are a little bit more pricey. So we may end up going, like if we can't move the big, pots that those palm trees were in then we're gonna have to put something in them and we'll go shopping again I couldn't find big outside I couldn't find big like yard bags the heavy duty huge like thick bags so I need to run somewhere else today and grab them I, I guess I could have gone inside the store and I didn't um but that's it I am home everything has been unloaded it doesn't look like as much stuff when it's not in the back of my car, the plants are so pretty. I'm so excited. This is Brian's tester camera, so he can see us right now. 
He's testing it out for the hunting camp. I'm out of breath, so bear with me. So here we go. This is the backyard situation. I started to pull up the border a couple days ago. It's not hard at all. And then all under here is just dirt. However, whenever they put this in, they didn't dig the grass out. So grass will grow there again. So that's the situation. Should be pretty quick and easy. And then this side, we're gonna dig all the weeds out. The tree that's planted there will go in the middle there. That big pot will be moved. And then we bought some more mulch to go down. So it's gonna be a full job. And here's an update on the concrete. They're gonna come back once it's completely dry and blow everything off so that it doesn't look so messy and get it off the house and the fence. Okay, I'm gonna put these things in the washing machine. Oh no, I don't have a free hand. Oh, I used them to sit plants on. Now they're all muddy and gross. Whew, so. I'm happy. I feel like everything's gonna be really pretty. Here's Kitty enjoying her alone time without cash. They haven't really been getting along lately. Okay, I need to wipe this camera lens off. So I figured my mom and I would get food. We did not. So I'm gonna run out and give me some lunch because I didn't lay anything out. And then I do wanna go to Ulta. I need some more makeup remover and maybe we'll run into Target. I did get gloves yesterday. I actually did a little, um, Grocery shop with me, TikTok and Instagram reel. So I'll leave a link down below if you wanna watch me grocery shop. I know that most of y'all like that. All right, Target first. I've seen everyone on TikTok talk about this. I tried the crepe, crepe corrector. I, I'm still using it, I really like it, but this is the one everyone was talking about. So we're gonna grab it. Also, I need some new shampoo. I've really been liking the Aussie moisture something in the purple bottle. But everyone talks about this Kristen S. I don't remember if I've tried it before. Maybe it's the clarifying shampoo. Hmm, let's go look at the other side. This is the one that I've been liking. Also people talk about the L'Oreal. Sulfate free, we don't want that. We want the sulfates. I don't know for sure about shampoo. I wanna do a little bit more, re more research, but I need another one of these for my soap in the shower. I'm gonna grab another one of these. I've never had the pink one. Ooh, infused with rose water, I don't know. I'm gonna get the regular, the Eco Tools sponge like this, I've been using for years. So I grabbed these. They don't say outdoor, but they do say holds 80 plus pounds, large trash bags, but we are still gonna look in the outdoor section. Pretty litter. I just used the only other one we had in the laundry room yesterday, day before yesterday. I found the outdoor aisle. That was not hard at all. It was like two aisles over, but I don't see any bags. Oh, they do have the weed killer though. I need to call my mom and see which one she wants me to get. I'm new to this. Okay, I was talking to my mom, but I grabbed some of this. I got her a pair of gloves. She's gonna bring her little stick thingy like that. So I got me one and then some of this. I have sunblock at home for us already. While we're here, let's just peruse the plus size. I think they're slowly getting rid of it, y'all. So it's this section to about here. This used to just be nothing, kind of, and they're starting to move in straight size things. So I think they're slowly getting rid of it. That's cute. That's really cute. And you could wear a regular bra with it because of the thick straps overall shorts my favorite pair of shorts are from target they're kind of like this but they frayed in the washing machine nothing i need swimsuits still wish i could find that walmart dress somewhere or something similar okay let's move on how cute is this pool i wish cash liked oh that's heavy liked water ages 2 plus 16 no 18 inches high 66 inches in diameter how much is that? $40. Okay, we're not doing $40, but that is very cute. So is this, it's a Bluetooth radio, but we bought that light, like lantern looking Bluetooth speaker from Costco. So we don't need one outside, but this is such a cute gift, $45. Okay, it's not bad, it's cute, but it's kind of pricey. It's now 115. I haven't heard from the groomers yet, to pick cash up. Y'all saw me at Target. I went to Chick-fil-A. I sat right here 
ate my lunch and watched YouTube videos, and then I walked into Ulta. So what I went in for was this, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm that takes your makeup off. I have the Take the Day Off Clinique wipes, but they burn the skin around my eyes. Any wipes do, but just those are the ones that I have right now, but I'm completely out of this. So the last two days I wore makeup, I used a wipe, and it's like this skin up here. It just burns, so I needed to get some more of that. My favorite mascara of all time, the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I got it in black. I bought the wrong one last time. I bought the curved wand, so I wanted to be sure that I got the correct one. And then TikTok made me buy it. Again, <laughs> what did we buy at Target? The lotion, this Essence Mascara. It's like four bucks, but people say it's like the best mascara they've ever used. They had pink and orange as well just a different effect but this one is the false false lash effect mascara and it doesn't have like a color on it or anything but she said it's all black like all of them were the color black so I got this to try I've been using for a couple of months now the lash MD the grande grand however you say it lash serum I used it years ago loved it got out of the habit of it and I probably bought some a few months ago, I would say. And it's done really well for my lashes. This side, anyways. This side, I think they're a little bit wonky. Like, they're just as long, but I sleep on this side. So, I think it kind of messes up the shape of them. Also, while we're just chatting, I thought about getting my brows laminated. Have y'all ever done that? I wouldn't do microblading. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to do that yet. I've never done anything to my brows. Sometimes I fill them in, a lot of times I don't. I just brush them. Um, this is the shape that they've been since I was probably in eighth grade because I didn't pluck them. I think I've told this story before. A girl that went to school with me begged me to pluck my eyebrows. I guess they were thick. And finally I was like, well, yeah, I guess. This is the, the shape that she plucked them in and this is the shape they've been ever since. I do not remember her name, but if that was you, how dare you <laughs> because now they only grow down they won't like thicken up right here so I thought about doing brow lamination I don't know let me know your thoughts on it if you've done it before is it expensive I don't even know I've never priced it I would I don't even know where to go in town I would probably ask around and see like who's had good who's had a good experience this brow I will say I plucked it the other day there's a blonde hair that starts like here and it's so long and it's one thick blonde hair. Oh my gosh, I thought they were gonna hit my car. Anyway, I pluck it all the time and like three days later it's grown back and it's thick and it hurts when I pull it out. So let me know your thoughts on brow lamination. My mom mentioned at one point she wanted to get hers microbladed. She doesn't really have eyebrows and what she does have is like very fine thin light hair maybe we could do like a mother daughter thing I don't know I'm gonna go to the bank I need to get some cash out and then I'm gonna wait for them to call me I'm, I'm trying to like meddle around town so that I'm not going all the way home and it's already 1 15 I could call them there's somebody in that truck right there you know at some point you just don't get embarrassed anymore you would think you wouldn't anyways but I do talk to myself for a job, even though you're watching it right now, like, oh, she's talking to me. I am in my car by myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't know. Stores don't really bother me though. I actually had someone tell me one time that they thought they heard me in a Walmart dressing room trying on swimsuits. It was me. I definitely talk to myself. Most people just think that I'm talking on the phone when I'm in a fitting room but nowadays it's way more common to film like TikToks and stuff while you're out and about so I don't think it's really I don't think people really care as long as you're not being too loud I guess or saying things that are inappropriate I'm just talking about makeup and clothes I also like this t-shirt by the way I got it from Walmart in the men's section and I worked out in it this morning and it's like an oversized roomy fit but it was really nice I kind of want to get some more of them. Okay, that's enough. I have nothing else to tell you except for I'm going to the bank. I'm going to drive around and hopefully they call me to pick up my dog. And then I will see you tomorrow officially. It's supposed to be nice outside and we will get to renovating the backyard. All right, here we go. It's about 
20, 8.30. Here's what we're looking like. My mom should be here soon. And then we can get to work. So let me show you some close-ups. This side, all the weeds, all these are coming out. We bought, obviously you saw new black mulch. This, I hope that we can walk it out. It's probably a couple hundred pounds, but if we can get it out, then that tree that's planted will go here instead. Um, so yeah, everything that's planted over here is coming out. So we're gonna move, obviously, the pots and put them to the side and decide what we want to do with them but all that's coming out i bought some weed killer over here same deal i hope that we can walk these out if not they're staying and i'm going to buy some trees to put in them but i think we can get them out obviously that tree is going the border you can see i've already started to pull out and this is super easy <gasps> is that a snake what is that there's your close-up is that a snake okay I'm just gonna pull that back. We do have gloves, so we'll have to be very careful because I have seen one time a black snake out here. I don't know what that is, I'm not familiar. But here we are, so I'm hoping that once we pick up the black tarpy stuff, it all comes up and there's just dirt underneath. This was super easy again. I think I pulled all this off in maybe two or three minutes. And then, go to lunch and then we'll come back and sit under here where it's going to be shaded and cool and plant the plants that we bought. So that's the plan. I'm going to put on a ton of sunblock and I'll see you when my mom gets here. I have on the most random outfit. So I wanted to be comfortable but also covered because I'm not trying to play with bugs and snakes and ants and stuff. So this baggy t-shirt, I have on leggings with socks covering the ankles and sneakers. I did put sunblock on my face, but y'all know for some reason my face, I can't use chemical sunblock, but the rest of my body is fine. So I'm gonna put some of this on just my neck. And then if I need to, I'll go get a hat or something. Um, I do have gloves and all of that fun stuff. We talked about that already. Let's get to work. I went and got some sunglasses, put my gloves on. My mom has the same ones. I picked them out for her. All right, let's move the big planters first. Light break. We've moved everything like we need to with the exception of that tree. But again, I need to pull it out and it's gonna go there. Oh my gosh. So now we come to this part where I think I can just pull this up. But remember, our little friend is under there. So I need to be prepared. I'm just gonna put him over the fence back there. It's not harmful. He's not harmful. Um, and I just. I don't kill them, so, unless they're bad, but he's not bad, so we're going to put him over the tree, over the fence, I mean, so I think I'm just going to roll this up as much as I can. These, hallelujah, if I could weigh these, I'd say these are probably 200 pounds, because holy, holy moly, um, but I'm going to put them against the house, but I haven't yet, because we're going to use some of these for the plants that we bought yesterday and I don't know which ones yet. So once we figure out that, we'll move those and then scooch all these against the house. We have these that are really nice, um, solar lights that light up at night. So I saved them all because I think I can just, like this little stick just goes in the bottom and that's what goes in the ground. So I think that I can still use them because they were kind of expensive and they look nice out here. Right on time, who do we think that is? That's my mother.
my gosh, I chipped that tree when I was carrying it over and there's dirt all over me. So I got in my eyes the one time I didn't have my sunglasses on. So I'm gonna just rinse my face and I may change my t-shirt. I probably shouldn't, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna rinse my face. I said to my mom when we pulled it out of the ground, I said, I feel like I just gave birth. Cause I was pulling so hard. Okay, I'm gonna leave the t-shirt on because I'm just gonna get dirty anyways, so. Whew. I also feel like the side that we just finished, the right side with the tree that we pulled out was the hard side, so happy about that we also just planted it on the other side she did a great job planting the tree it's a little bit short how cute okay she said press down on the dirt towards this way okay Welcome back. It's now about four o'clock. I've clearly just showered. I fed the cat her wet food that she gets at night. She has hard food all the time, like in a bowl, but um, I am not gonna be able to move <laughs> later, but let me show you what it looks like right now. You wanna show the people? So I feel like it's gonna be worse before it gets better, okay? Just, and it doesn't even look like we did that much, but we did so much work. All right, so first thing, these are gonna stay here so I can water them and figure out where I wanna put them. We did, y'all saw, the yellow and the blue, I think is so pretty. I couldn't move this, it's too heavy. Maybe if I had started with that, I could, but by the end of the day, and I had moved all of these against this against the house, I can't even talk, I couldn't do it. That's all trash. I'm gonna put out for Friday. All right, so this side, we planted the tree. My mom did the weed killer all throughout. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few days and then come back and try to pull up all these. And hopefully it'll only take a couple rounds of the weed killer to get rid of all that. And then again, we have black mulch to freshen it up and put here. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. It took us, I started what time? Probably 10, 10.30. Y'all saw my mom show up. We did take a break and go sit in my car and eat Panda Express because we were so dirty that we didn't want to sit on my couch or like sit in my house and eat. And it was a nice break. The AC on, we sat in the shade and enjoyed lunch. So let's take a break for an hour. It's almost four, but we finished, I want to say like three. That's a long time out here doing all that so that's it that's all for today I have a hair appointment tomorrow I washed it twice in the shower because I felt like I just had dirt stuck to my scalp so I'll see you tomorrow for my hair appointment that's a wrap for today hello happy Wednesday I'm in the middle of doing my makeup while I'm doing mascara but I thought we could try that essence mascara I got my hair done this morning I know you can't really tell right now. Well, you can tell. It's just the angle is a little bit weird. We did the root smudge, a cool tone root smudge, the pieces around the front. We did trim it probably like an inch, inch and a half off. Fixed up the layers. I have this light from Timu. Let's see if it makes a difference in how well 
You can see me? Does that make a difference? Okay, let me curl my lashes. Y'all know I love the Voluminous L'Oreal. I need to toss this one. But I found that after a while, well, not even that long, really, it tends to get clumpy in there. So that's my only complaint. Same thing with the Lash Paradise that I really like. Maybe it's just a L'Oreal thing. I don't know. But we're going to go for this one today. And I hope it's good because... I'm filming. While I curl my lashes, I'm going to throw in some video of my hair. I always go in with some sort of picture or video, whether it's a picture or video of myself. It could be of someone else, like some inspiration that I found. But I try to stay in the same like blonde range because I like that on me. All right, lashes curled. I haven't popped this open either because I wanted to do it with you first. Okay, what I'm hoping for is separation, but also length, maybe a little bit of volume. I am gonna do two coats. I'll do one side and then, and then we'll see what it looks like compared. I actually ended up putting them on the side that doesn't really, what I talked about was a little bit wonky, but it kind of separated them. All right, there we go. One side obviously with, one without. Oh, I just knocked this over. Um, so far, I like it. I think it's going to take me a few more times. They're not standing up very well, but I do have a little bit of a trick. Let me show you while we're in these tight quarters together. I take this little fan, which is from Timu, and I turn it on the lowest setting, and then I close my eye and hold up my lashes and let them dry. They're, like, they're pretty much dry, but just that last little bit, just push them up. Just be careful not to push it onto your eyelid, which if you do, you can get it off pretty easily. But I just try to avoid that. But if I push it up, and I will do this to both eyes too. I feel like it helps my lashes to stay up. Slight interruption. I'm editing this and I just watched a TikTok from a woman who said that her lashes are very similar to mine. They don't really curl and stand up on their own. And she said waterproof mascara is how she gets her, hers to stay. And that may be like a universal, like universal knowledge that I'm just unfamiliar with. So we may try some waterproof mascara next week. And there we go. Let me do the other side. I'll be right back. Is that any better? I moved the camera around, like flipped it around so that you're looking at like the camera in the back of my phone is way better than the front. So I did both lashes. I also used it for my under eye or my lower lashes. I like it. I kind of like it with my lower lashes better. My lips, I just used this combo, the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in the color 130 Rose Velvet, and then I throw Benetint on top. Though, someone sent me a dupe. The Benetint dupe is also an Essence brand for like $4, so I might try that. But that's, here's the makeup look. I'm gonna brush my hair and then get to filming. I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I love my hair. That is a very bright inner corner. Okay, all right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on, I have a video Friday and Saturday. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'm filming this week's um, swimsuit Saturday today that you'll see on Saturday. It's a Land's End swimsuit haul. So I think it's gonna be good.